-hmm. how often should you rebrand? Yeah. Um, you shouldn't need to rebrand very often at all, as mm -hmm. long as you do it right the first time. Um, yeah. So most companies don't do it right the first time, and that necessitates the rebrand later on. Um, but you know, we've done, I don't know, we're, we're probably close to 1,500 brands that we've done, and I don't think that we've ever really gone back and rebranded somebody that we've branded the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, knowing who you are today is important, but knowing where you want to be in the future is also equally important. So you think about brands from that perspective as well. You want it to represent who you are today, but you also want it to have the longevity that in 15 years, it still makes sense for you to be branded um, that way as well. So that's all part of like making sure we have a good understanding of what your goals are and what you plan to do and, and making sure that that brand will will last. And, and also just trying to avoid things that are very trendy like right now that may sort of look have it look dated um, later on, like the swoosh, like years ago, everyone had a swoosh, every logo had mm -hmm. a swoosh. And then it's yeah. like, okay, you know, then five years later, it's just like, you know, they all look the same. So, um, you know, trying to avoid really, really current trends sometimes also may pigeonhole you to a very specific time period. Yeah, I would say, I, Dustin, I would push you, brother, that if that if you came up with the, the name and brand yourself, by the way, if it's named after you, it's time to change your brand. Mm -hmm. Never, I mean, <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, if it's named after, which we're all proud of, and I understand guys and Dan as plumbers, we love to say, I, I'm so proud of my work. I put my name on it. Well, that just made you, you know, um, so if it's smaller. smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Dustin, if, 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 if you came up with a brand or it's your name, or if the local vinyl company came up with the design or the brand, or if you, if, you know, even if you pulled some, something offline, you know, some stock image and that kind of stuff, whatever you did, if you've done any of those kinds of things, or if it's just vinyl, you know, vinyl letters, um, it, you need to change your brand, okay? It'll do wonders. Mm -hmm. it, you, you'll be amazed uh, how much more your phone will ring just by doing that, okay? And, um, Dan, I, I call these the vans, when they get all branded out right, I call them dude magnets. You know, because one, one of the big concerns with our plumbing business is we can't, there's not enough guys, we can't get enough guys. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, once you have a, a nice van and it's all branded out, how many guys want to come work for you now? Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. the boss is in the house. Hey, Larry, Larry Enright, Enright hey, Larry. the boss. Mm -hmm. 